Hey, hey, it's David here at Toyzilla. And it's Monday, so you know what that means. <laughs> That's right, Marvel Monday! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna, we've been doing this show now for actually a couple of weeks. Uh, this is episode 15, so we've gone pretty far. Uh, but we want to keep the ball rolling. We want more people following us. Uh, so we're going to do something right now. We're going to do a giveaway. But to get this giveaway, you're going to have to share our stream. So that means uh, share us on a toy group, a Marvel group, um, you know, anything that you think will get some people to watch us. Today's show, we have some really one-of-a-kind items. I kid you not, one-of-a-kind items that you won't find anywhere else. Uh, to give you a preview, I will show you, and then we're going to give away this giant saber tooth from X-Men, original Toy Biz figure. So one of you guys, and if there's not many people watching, you know, you get more people to watch, uh, one of you who shares today's uh, show, uh, by the end of the show, you will get this. Uh, and we'll, we'll pick a winner, and we'll get this out to you. So that's the incentive of the day. Please, you know, I know there's only a couple watching. Share it on your Marvel toy groups. Uh, share it around and uh, get friends and everyone else to watch. Uh, we got some... Okay, so let's take a peek over here. So we're going to go over all this stuff in more detail, but we are going to talk about comic books today. Uh, we're going to talk about animation. We've got X-Men. We've got Iron Man. We've got Incredible Hulk. Uh, these are original animation cells. We've got, we've got a movie prop over here. Uh, yeah, that is from Daredevil. And then we've got really super rare uh, Comic-Con exclusives over here. Um, and then we've got one-of-a-kind, never-before-seen prototypes. Uh, these are prototypes. <laughs> Did you know that there was a crossover between Avengers and Cabbage Patch Kids? Well, there almost was. So, okay, that's just a sneak peek. We want you to share our page now, so we're going to give you a chance to share that page and win this Sabretooth giant toy biz uh, Marvel action figure. Uh, we want you to share it so more people can watch, share in on some of these awesome things we're about to show you. There's going to be some comic books coming up too, so just go ahead and share that stream. I'm going to take a little break while you guys share it. Go ahead, find a cool group that you guys are a member of. Uh, share the stream, and then we will start talking about some really... And since we are not a comic book store, you might not be aware, but we do sell comic books. Yes. <laughs> so we have like 50 cent bins and we have tons of Marvel. Uh, we have DC Comics. Uh, you know, there's Hulk, Fantastic Four, um, you know, Team Up, Power Rangers, uh, just a whole big assortment. Um, and the best thing to do when, you know, hey, maybe you're, you're stuck at home like now is why not catch up on some of your reading? So, we have a great Marvel section here. Now, if you don't want to buy individual issues, I hear ya. Uh, this is a great place to go and pick up, like, a hardcover graphic novel or trade paperback. And uh, just go ahead and catch up on a whole story arc. Um, and our books right now, I'm going to tell you this. They are, m many of them are less than half cover price. Uh, these are all brand spanking new, never uh, read. Uh, like this one, for example, is still sealed with a shrink wrap. Uh, hardcover Marvel books. Um, great, great deals over here. Uh, while we're waiting for more people to jump online and give you a chance to win that awesome Sabretooth figure, uh, let's go through these books here, because I think these are some of the best ones that you can get right now, uh, to catch you up on the whole Marvel Universe. Um, now, I haven't read these, so I can't tell you too much about them, 
Uh, this one is by Bendis. I know him. Uh, it looks awesome. And a $25 cover price sale for $15. Uh, Siege Dark Avengers. Um, then we've got over here, Avengers First to Last. This is an amazing cover. Again, I haven't read it, but the cover price is $35. You get it for $20. Um, just, just looks really incredible from the artwork alone. All right. And then we have Ultimate Comics, The Ultimates. Uh, for just $10, it was a $28 book. $10 here. Obviously, it's got Captain America, Iron Man, Thor. Looks incredible to me. I haven't read it. <laughs> uh, and then this is something that we did a signing for at the store. It's called Previously on X-Men. It's the making of the animated series of X-Men back in the 90s by Eric Leewald. It, uh, they, there's a bookmark in there. Uh, this was actually signed at our store uh, by uh, basically the, the creative team on X-Men, which includes um, uh, Eric Leewald, his wife, Julia Leewald, and Larry Houston, who was the director on it. Um, we've got the signed hardcovers for $45. Uh, then X-Men. Since we're talking about X-Men, astonishing X-Men, this is, yes, by uh, Joss Whedon, um, John Cassidy, just $10 for this one, Astonishing X-Men. I love the spines on all these books, <laughs> Big Red Marvel. Uh, this is your Marvel Encyclopedia X-Men for 5 bucks. Uh, then, if you guys like Punisher, this is a great place to jump into Punisher. Yes, explicit content, so be advised. Uh, this was a hardcover at $40. Now you get it for $25. Um, we've got the Runaways here for uh, 4 bucks, And then we've got uh, some Captain Marvel books. Uh, this is First Contact, Captain Marvel. Uh, might not be the Captain Marvel you guys know, but um, interesting Captain Marvel book. And then Captain Marvel. Um, this one looks... Really great. Also $9. Um, and then we got a She-Hulk book. Uh, that cover is amazing. Uh, single green female, $10. Um, Electra, Ultimate Electra for $7. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man Countdown for 10 bucks. And then uh, this is the official handbook of the Marvel Universe for $10. You got A through Z. Pretty much covers everyone from <laughs> Captain America and on. Uh, okay, here is Iron Man 2020 for just five bucks. Uh, we got Iron Man Mask in the Iron Man. Ten dollars. Oh, we got some Red Hulk here. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a uh, volume. Let me see. I think it's uh, two volumes of Red Hulk. Red Hulk Scorched Earth. Uh, that one's seven dollars, and Red Hulk, Planet Red Hulk, uh, for ten. And then this is a nice hardcover shrink wrap book uh, called uh, Fall of the Hulks. Never seen Hulk with like really cool. And then we have the New Avengers, Premier Edition, for twenty dollars. That's another hardcover book. Uh, My Avengers, Secret Invasion, ten dollars. War, also ten dollars. Um, and then this is Hawkeye, My Life as a Weapon, uh, ten dollars. And then, oh, wait, same book. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, U.S. War Machine for ten dollars. That's a really big book for ten bucks. Explicit content, and last but not least, Strange: Beginnings and Endings for ten dollars. That's a great cover too. So all of these books, you can tell they're just mint, unread condition. Uh, whew. Jump over here. Well, you can't come over, but if you see anything here you like. 
just tell me the name, the price, and then we can either drop it off with you or uh, you can, these are available for pickup here at the store. Got some time to kill, you know, your home, <laughs> you know, good time to catch up on your reading. So, all right, there we go. We're going to jump back over to look some of those ex really cool, cool toys. Okay, who has shared that stream? Let's see. Okay, we got our view count up a little more. That's really awesome. You guys have any questions on that? Oh, just let me know. I'll try to get to them. Uh, and just reminding you that today someone will get this uncanny, uncanny X-Men uh, Sabretooth. Uh, it's a giant size Toy Biz from, I believe, 1994. 10-inch posable figure. Um, and let's look at some... Uh, some Marvel property here. Uh, we, we've got, this is on sale, a Star Pack Iron Man. Uh, teleport all your heroes to a mobile adventure. And I think this is something that looks like it would really be fun. Um, if you guys like Hero Clicks, um, if you have the Hero Clicks figures, uh, this comes with an exclusive Hero Clicks. Um, but then it's also a online game that you can get the uh, at the App Store for Android. Um, so you can play as your favorite superhero. Uh, looks like it's a bunch of Marvel characters. Um, compatible with the iPad. Uh, so yeah, this is only... It looks like it was probably $20. Now it's on sale for $10. Okay, you gotta get batteries for it. Um, and then get your Hero Clicks Online uh, code inside, and then get the Click Station, and you get your Elite figure, and you can play online. So it it looks awesome. It looks like you know, hey, you got time on your hands. Why not? <laughs> and here, this is a very fine uh, pewter collector series Marvel statue. Uh, this is. A limited edition, so they only made uh, 990, nine, I'm sorry, 9,998 of these, and this is one of those. Um, I think the, you know, the numbers on the back, this is number 8,512 of the Human Torch 1940 Golden Age edition. Uh, really nice statue um, of him just bursting, flaming out of the pages. Um, I think this was probably like about $40 to $60. I mean, we got on sale right now for $20. Bucks. Uh, can't beat that. Um, all right. And as I remind you, if you want anything here, just tell us like right away. Um, okay, over here, this is something pretty rare. Um, this came out, uh, well, originally this came out in the 1960s in Italy. Uh, it was kept in, um, kept in action. Uh, now, they, they made a mistake, and they had the Captain Action figure here uh, with a Captain America uh, uniform. And I guess a lot of kids in Italy in the 60s did not really know Captain America, so they didn't think too much of it. Uh, but in a tribute of that great mistake back in the 60s, 2012, um, uh, Captain Action Company put out this special edition, and my understanding is they made um, only 100 of these. Uh, it's got like this really nice uh, cardboard box um, that is pretty authentic to the original, which was released by uh, Barvelli um, in Italy, and it comes with So it comes with uh, Captain America uniform on Captain Action, um, and it comes with a special Beretta and the uh, Barvelli package. Um, so I, I believe that's the only way you can get that gun, so the Beretta, uh, there's the Captain Action uh, hat. Um, and, yeah, I was just lucky enough I was actually able to get this at San Diego Comic-Con uh, when it came out. Um, and it's one of those crazy, super exclusive items 
Now, uh, the box is not perfect. I'm just showing you all sides of it. It's got some wear, uh, but it's kind of like the way it was designed and to some extent. But um, $120 is the actual price they, it cost at San Diego Comic-Con. So I'm not making a, a penny off of this, but I figure, you know what, it was too good to pass it up at the time. Let's just sell it at original cost. No one else is selling this right now, so uh, I, I mean, at least not on eBay that I can find. Um, so anyway, that's the Captain America. Oh, it comes, sorry, Captain America, Captain Action comes with this uh, vintage collector's edition uh, catalog, too, that I think only came with this toy. Um, yeah. Oh, and it talks about that mistake I was just talking about. Why? <laughs> it was a mistake that was made, and they fixed the mistake, but not before a whole bunch of these figures got out in 1960s Italy. But as you can see, they had a whole bunch of different, um, you know, Captain Action could kind of disguise himself as different superheroes. So, there you go. Let's put it back. Okay. Let's talk about animation cells here. Uh, so the 90s had a whole bunch of really great uh, Marvel franchises that came out in animation. Um, and uh, let's start with X-Men. Uh, this is Storm. Looks like she's got some coffee there. <laughs> Having a little bit of a relaxation moment there. Uh, so this is a reproduced background, but the cell there is original. Um... And as I was saying before, with animation cells, every single cell is one of a kind because they only made one frame of each of these um, hand-painted on the back. Uh, this is a reproduced uh, cell, but as you'll see in a second... I'm sorry, re reproduced background, but as you'll see, some of these are original backgrounds as well, like this one right here. This is an original background, and let's see... If anybody knows who this character is, I think he actually was appeared in the New Mutants, uh, but he was only in one episode of X-Men, to my knowledge, so I think this is a very rare sell. Uh, this one is $80. Um, should have said the Storm was $60. And then we've got a much more <laughs> lower-priced one here from X-Men, uh, but it just looks like a bunch of uh, ants. Uh, that one is $20. Uh, by the way, these all come with a certificate of authenticity, uh, saying that it was from X-Men. Um, okay, this one has the original background to it. Um, this one, uh, is $60. And then, oh, there's one of my favorite characters there. Now, this one is actually not the cell. This is the, uh pencil drawing that they did for the animation. It's got a number here on the bottom that says what frame number that is. Uh, that is Rogue. Really nice looking Rogue. Uh, $35 for this uh, pencil drawing. Oh, and as you can see, there is the Certificate of Authenticity on the back uh, saying it's original X-Men uh, cell. Okay. And then let's move on here. About the same time, uh, we got the Incredible Hulk. And this one is the only Hulk cell we have. Um, and it, it's got a reproduced background. Really good looking Hulk there. Um, that one is $60. Then we got Hulk. <laughs> it looks like he's smashing something. Swinging his arm. A really cool action pose there. That one's $20. Uh, here's Hulk <laughs> looking nice and mad with his fists up. That one's also $20. And I believe is that, that should be War Machine over there. Um, underwater. <laughs> and, uh, this cell has a reproduced background. This one is $70. Uh, then we have... Uh, this is a pencil line drawing of Iron Man that's uh, $20. And then, oh, there is Tony Stark himself looking nice. 
That's a really good background uh, I mean, for him too, but it's a reproduced background, original cell. Uh, this one is $50. And there, oh man, it looks like uh, Tony Stark again now uh, in the full body pose with uh, in the Iron Man suit. Uh, looks like he's being sapped of his uh, strength, like through his uh, core reactor there. Uh, this one is $70. And that's our last sell for Marvel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, let's move on. We've got... Got some... Now, these were not items that fit in with Marvel Legends. They're not actually action figures. Uh, if you guys know Madame Alexander, they make very high-quality uh, fashion dolls. And they did an entire series of on Marvel, um, and I, I believe the first one they did was actually this Black Panther, uh, fangirl, um, and this originally came out, uh, we got this at the San Diego Comic-Con at the Entertainment Earth booth, uh, because they were selling, uh, Toys R Us items at the time, and, uh, yeah, now this one is, I'd say more of a deluxe doll, because it comes with a uh, whole, um, Headdress there, and next to her costume, you can see the design of the doll on the back. Uh, that's what Black Panther uh, looks like, but then here is the design, uh, the necklace, the tribal headpiece, uh, shoes, everything else. These are some of the other dolls they made in the line, which <laughs> we don't have right now, but we've got uh, Black Panther for $60. Um like mint condition box, except for this little tear on the top. Uh, $60, not too bad. Um, and then for $45, we have, this is the Iron Man uh, fangirl. And uh, yeah, no, she is looking very nice as well. Um, looks like, uh, yeah, her, her skin is gold. A uh, little face paint there. Uh, oh, they all come with a nice stand. You can see the um, design on the back here. Uh, I got Iron Man, um, the concept, and then the execution of the doll. And yeah, not bad at all if you want to get some fashion dolls from Marvel. Um, and then we have this. This is a Comic-Con exclusive from Hong Kong, uh, Beast Kingdom. They just had their 10th anniversary back when Comic-Con had their 50th, and so they did something called these uh, egg attack figures, and they're really high quality, um, sort of super deformed. Uh, yeah, this was actually just this past year, 2019, eighth year of Marvel, and this is the EAA 084 6-inch action figure of Wolverine egg attack. Uh, the special box uh, kind of protects it, but it also comes with a t-shirt. Uh, let's get the figure out, show you what it is. And you can see on the back, this one comes with a large uh, t-shirt. There it is. X-Men. Very cool looking Wolverine uh, t-shirt. No way to get that shirt except for buying this figure at Comic-Con in this, this bundle. Uh, that's what the figure looks like. It's got multiple heads. You can see him without the mask, uh, Logan, and then uh, uh, different expressions on the face. Uh, comes 28 points of articulation, interchangeable, uh, glaring Logan heads, uh, masked head, howling mouth, frowning mouth, uh, two different, uh, three different, two different sets of hands and, uh, one pair of, uh, fists with the claws and the mask is, uh, detachable. So, that's, it's a chromed out box. Um, obviously perfect condition because we never opened this thing. Still sealed here. And we are going to put it right back in, so don't worry about that. <laughs> All right. Now, we're going to move on to, I think, our, our 
super rare stuff that we've been not selling. And it's been kind of difficult for me personally to sell some of this stuff because it's such one of a kind. Uh, so this is something I, I actually did have one of these before. And if you don't know what this is, uh, check out the movie Daredevil that came out in 2003, uh, starring Ben Affleck as Daredevil. This was his uh, Billy Club, um, and this is a prop that was used, you could say by uh, Ben Affleck himself, because most likely it was. Um, it's been beat up a little bit, um, and the idea was that they made uh, at least two versions of this. One was used for close-up shots uh, that looked very uh, nice. This one was used for stunt work, and it's basically like a ro uh, rubber version, uh, but it's it's still pretty durable. Um, so this comes with a, a COA that um, it basically says that this was actually used in the movie, a uh, screen-used uh, prop, um, and it's the Ro uh, Rilo Daredevil Billy Club, um, hand-painted uh, and cast as the hero's main weapon, um, and it was used, uh, screen used, and, and personally used by Ben Affleck himself, and uh, I don't know how many they made of these. They obviously made enough. Uh, we did have one before, uh, which we put up for auction. It sold for $600, um, which is not bad for something like this. Um, this one, I think we're going to, I think we'd probably sell around the same price. Um, honestly, I like to give people a deal here. If we're not putting this up on eBay for auction, we'll drop the price by $100. So let's say this is 500 bucks, One of a kind. Um, again, this, this one's uh, 13 inches long, uh, made of a rigid, flexible polyurethane foam, hand-painted. Uh, the baton has... Um, Basically, uh, a devil and an angel head. Uh, so you look at one side, so you can see that. It's got the angel. And on the other side is the devil. Okay, right there. <laughs> um, and then you can see on the COA, there's uh, Mr. Affleck as Daredevil uh, using it in combat. Um... Cool. So, yeah, I mean, one of a kind. Like I said, we've had one of those before. Uh, we got this signed by the uh, costume department head on the film. All right. So if that doesn't float your boat, the next pair of items I show, I think, will. Uh, these guys are Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> now... Why am I showing you Cabbage Patch Kids on a Marvel Monday? Uh, well, it should be pretty obvious. These are Avengers uh, Cabbage Patch Kids. Uh, this guy here is Captain America. This guy over here is Thor. Um, and so what's cool about these guys is that back in uh, 2011, uh, Jax got the uh, license for Cabbage Patch Kids. And uh, they decided, you know, let's let's see what other licenses we can cross over with Cabbage Patch Kids. Uh, so they made a bunch of mock-ups and prototypes of these Marvel figures. And uh, best I can tell, this was done in 2012. Um, I actually got this directly from someone who worked at Jax uh, and said this was used as a presentation. Now... Uh, for better or worse, these never went into actual production. Uh, so that means these are the only ones in existence, uh, which is pretty crazy. Um, and so you can see the, the stitching is very well done. These costumes, um, the, the mask does come off. Captain America, um, he's got the... Uh, okay, now this was pinned up to his chest for a presentation, but he does have uh, the star on his chest. He's got the waistband there. Uh, the, they have uh, Velcro 
that allows you to take off the uh, the costume. The stitching is really nice. Like if you look at the um, the wings on the head, really well done. Same thing with uh, the boots. Everything is is really meticulously done. Um, I believe the shield is probably taken off some other toy and was just kind of pinned on the figure as an example. Because uh, like I said, they never went into production on these. Now, my favorite is actually Thor over here because I, I think he just looks adorable. And they went to a lot of trouble on especially this helmet. You can see how much stitching there is on the sides of it. Really detailed. Yeah, there you go. And then especially on that uh, chest piece. Yeah, you know, the arms, uh, the legs here, really well done. I mean, if you were going to hire someone to do this, it would <laughs> be expensive. Uh, but this one, like I said, yes, you can see there. there's little Velcro straps here that connected together. Same thing up here, Velcro. Uh, they did a really good job on this. Uh, it's got the copy right here on the head. Uh, this one is hard to read, but it says it's Jax uh, 2011 uh, and 2012. Um, and yeah, it's, these are a great pair of dolls. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you sell for something for that has, uh, is a prototype? And I, they obviously spent uh, thousands of dollars to make these um, gorgeous dolls. Um, so we're going to include a certificate of authenticity with these as well, uh, stating that they are, in fact, from uh, someone who worked at Jax, um, and that they're, they're one-of-a-kind uh, prototypes uh, that never went into production, and give you even more details about them. If you have any questions about them, let me know. Um, and... Let's see, what are we selling these for? We are selling these for, uh, let's try, make us an offer, but uh, we're gonna sell, start at uh, $750 each. And I, I guess if you get both of them, maybe we can give you a deal, but let's just say $750 each, because they are pretty darn rare dolls. <laughs> so, there you go. All right, we covered some a lot of stuff here. Uh, Steven, <laughs> thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate that you appreciate us doing these shows. We're trying our best here. Um, we have a lot more to cover. Um, and, uh, we have a lot more stuff. So let me see if I can figure out who shared the video and who we should give this awesome saber tooth to. Uh, let's see. Lisa, if you're watching, can you... Pick somebody who shared this video. I, st I see that uh, Stephen commented the most, but let me make sure he shared it. Yeah, looks like he does. All right. Well, I'll, I'll let I'll see if she can pick someone right now. Uh, otherwise, what? Things that we may cover soon. Oh, yeah, the cops are out here. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we're going to go more into our video game. Uh, and I, f I feel bad because we didn't really get into the actual video game toys on our video game episode. We didn't cover Amiibos, which we have. We didn't get into Infinity down here. Uh, we didn't get into the Skylanders or the Game Boy stuff. Uh, we've got you know a lot of Godzilla over here. Some very cool Godzilla toys and horror toys and everything else um yeah there's a there's just a ton <laughs> if we don't have a category for it we'll just make up a day that we cover everything uh everything in the store you know here's an old doll i have no idea very old looking doll um we're gonna get into anime we've got a ton of old vintage anime figures here in the case uh, of course, Tuesday is Transformers again, and then Friday is Funko Friday, so, <laughs> you know, join us for that. 
Um, cool. And it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like we'll, we'll announce a winner on today's, uh, live stream feed very shortly and then we'll contact you and let you know who won. Um, thank you guys for watching so much. Share the stream now. Uh, even if it's not live, we'll probably uh, have these items uh, until we sell them. Uh, so just keep sharing it. If there's anything you want to see on the show, definitely let us know. I'll make sure we cover it. And uh, till next time, thank you guys. I'll see you then tomorrow. Same time.